Hi, my name's Luke Catlaw and I have too many things. <laughs> Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a one that's been very overdue and it's very time appropriate. I am doing a clear out video. Um, I've saw so many of these videos going around on YouTube at the moment. You know, it's January, everyone's doing a bit of spring cleaning. It's a fresh start. You know, it's just that perfect time to just get things out of your life that you just didn't use in 2018, ready for a fresh new year, to not collect more things, that's my problem. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a wardrobe clear out, I'm just gonna be doing a general room clear out. Our living room, kitchen slash dining room is next door to me, and it's pretty good. I've gone through that with a fine tooth comb, but my bedroom is ridiculous. I'd, primarily, this is gonna be a clothing detox. I have far too many clothes. I love the idea of being a minimalist, I truly do. But with what I do online, I do obviously a lot of fashion. I kind of need a lot of outfit options. You know, the whole two, three t-shirts, two sweatshirts, two pair of pants doesn't really work out for me. However, I feel like I have a lot of room to clear in this out. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. I'm gonna show you the state of my room currently. I haven't tidied it for the sake of this video. I mean, it's not messy. There's just a lot of things everywhere. So grab a cup of tea, it's gonna be a long one. So for the sake of this video, like I said, I am not tidied in my room at all. As you can see, all of that is recycling. That is gonna get taken to the refuge center on the weekend. But literally this is my room. I know it doesn't look like I've got a lot of stuff. I mean, it it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. This is my drawers, I'm gonna go through all of that. I've got underbed things I need to go through. This is a box I'm donating to charity. This is a pile of clothes that I'm gonna be selling on Depop. Then I've got more things here, laundry to put away. And then this is the real issue. Let me just show you. It's really bad. It's just currently overflowing. And then also on top, it's just ridiculous. So the first thing I'm gonna tackle is my wardrobe. I've cleared a massive space on my bed and I'm just literally gonna throw everything under it. I've watched a video by Anna Newton who is like a goddess when it comes to anything remotely organized. Um, and she says to do ultimate wardrobe clear out, you need to just take everything out. It's pointless like sorting through it. I've done a wardrobe clear out on here before and I'll link that down below. I filmed it with Mr. Carrington and we just took everything out. It seems like a bit of a long thing to do, but trust me, it's worth it. So here we go. Okay, so that's everything out of that section of the wardrobe. I'm also gonna do the drawers as well, but they're down below so you guys can't see that. So this is everything. This is everything that was hanging up. These are all of like my t-shirts and jumpers that I've folded. This is jeans and denim. Trousers are in here as well. Um, I've got some like knitwear, sweatshirts, more sweatshirts. And that's only half my wardrobe. That's also full of coats. And then there's underpants and socks. And then more sweatshirts, loungewear and shoes. And then I also have all of this too. It needs to go away. And unfortunately that isn't everything. There's also um, shoe storage to go through. So when I'm sorting through things, as I did in my last video, and as everyone always does, I sort it into three piles. A pile that is keep, so you're gonna rewear. I'm also gonna do a pile that I'm gonna charity shop, donate to, and I'm gonna do a pile that I'm gonna sell or re-gift to other people. So hopefully, fingers crossed by this, we have a huge reduction of things that are gonna be in my wardrobe. I know that it's coming into a season that's quite cold, so obviously anything that's remotely summery or things that I'm going to wear in summer, I'm gonna get put under my bed. Also does need sorting out. I just need to do a massive sort out, so um, here we go. You hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve. All the bad in the hurt. So I'd say I'm about midway through this wardrobe clear out and it's actually going quite well. This is the wardrobe currently and it does have room. Obviously it's got all of the top and all of the bottom. And then this is what I've got going on in the bed. I'll show you like the system that I kind of use when I'm doing a clear out. So these two piles, this is the pile that I'm gonna um, sell. So it's like eBay or Depop. This is the pile that's going to charity. And then we've got some piles going on over here. So this is a loungewear, that's denim, this is trousers. These are t-shirts all folded up and ready to go back in. And then this is the pile that I'm going through and I'm just working it through in piles. I think if you just have a massive mountain, it becomes a really chaotic, oh, and that was the shirt that I was wearing earlier when it got too hot. Um, but yeah, if you section out in piles, it's really, really good. And also a good tip that I think about is don't hold on to sentimental value and do not think that you have to keep a hold of something because A, it was expensive, or B, because you feel like you might wear it. If you have a doubt, or oh, maybe, no, you know you're not gonna wear it. I've just looked at some trousers, I was like, maybe, no. You know, I did pay a lot of money for them. Hopefully I can sell them, someone else can love them. If not, you know what? They're taking room in my wardrobe. I don't need them, they can go. 
you know, you've already parted with the money. You feel like it's a waste, but in reality, the money's already gone. So, yeah, that's that's my two tips. Are you going to wear it? No. And if you think, mm, potentially, you don't want to throw it away, put it back in your wardrobe and see if you reach for it. Give yourself a timeline, maybe a month, two months. If you don't wear it in that time, it needs to go. So now that Charles' new wardrobe are actually empty, it's a good time to just get a microfiber cloth in and just give it a good old dust out. I don't know how it gets so dusty in there, but I guess it's just all the fibers from all of the clothes. If you just give it a good wipe out, it's a really good time to just feel a complete refresh. You don't have to use anything scented because obviously you don't want your clothes smelling, but yeah, and don't forget to do the top shelf as well. So once you feel like you've got a good pile of um, clothing that you know you're gonna wear, these are literally just t-shirts. I've got some white t-shirts, I've got four black t-shirts. I wear more black than white, even though I'm wearing a white one today. Um, two striped and like a long sleeve striped one and that's it That's literally all the t-shirts that I own and that's all I want to have another good tip is do not be afraid to fold The, the tighter you fold them obviously they are gonna get a little bit creased compared to hanging We don't have the hanging room Don't get an extra reel put more things on that because that just clutters your room up Just fold things up you've got an iron just quickly give them a quick iron good to go and this is how i fold things now i know this is going to seem really condescending i used to work in a clothes shop and obviously you guys know how to fold clothes but this is how i generally do it so i kind of get a nice big space i fold it in half that way then i fold it in on itself that way so it forms like a nice flat parallel and then i just grab the arms and tuck those in on themselves like that and then it's literally just a case of just folding that in half and then in half again and that is literally a sweatshirt nice and compact ready to go inside Okay, now it's time to tackle something I'm really not looking forward to. This side of my wardrobe is where all of my coats are. And as you can tell, I have a lot of coats. And um, I think I have about 30 coats, which is totally ridiculous. I need to really, really cut that down. So um, here we go. Realistically though, guys, who needs that many coats? That is like a pile. Oh, yeah. Cool, I really need to sort this out. So obviously, like I said, with what I do, I do need a lot of quartz, and it's obviously winter, but I don't need this many, it's a bit ridiculous. I do have some very fun favorites in here, like you guys will recognize this court. Um, this one's really, really lovely. This is the one I wore in Paris, the one I took to Florence, I absolutely love it, so it's definitely stay. I think this is the way to do it. If you just process what you love, put that away straight away, with whatever you're left with, you can just decide whether you want to keep it or not. I think that's a good idea, so this is a definite first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I think it's pretty much there. Um, I'm going to bag up all the stuff for charity and we're going to be dropping that off at the weekend. Um, and I've got a massive pile of stuff that I'm going to go through again to see whether that can actually be charity or it can be sold or passed on to a friend or family member. And that's a really good tip as well to sort through what you've already sorted through because you might have got a little bit stressed halfway through and, all, and just threw it in a pile. But then if you check that pile again, it's going to be something that you know that you can put in the wrong pile. So um, yeah, I'm just going to bag everything up now. You did your time. I had a few questions from you guys in my last wardrobe clear out about hangers and what hangers that I use um, and these are from Primark Home and they're such slim profile like they literally take up hardly any room and they're made of this like um, gripping material so for trousers they literally like once they're on they're on like they do not slip off at all so they're really really handy and the good thing as well is that you can pile the grips just keep them in place it's really really good obviously it's a space saving bonus as well because they're so slim and um, so you can just pop a couple of pairs on just pop them straight in your wardrobe but don't give up so the wardrobe is now officially done and I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's completely streamlined. Everything in there is everything that I'm wearing at the moment and I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff and it feels so good. And now it's time to tackle these drawers. The way I have these set up is this is all like cosmetics and stuff. This is gym kit and then the bottom is just like miscellaneous things. Um, so I'm just going to go through that and see if there's anything in there. I imagine there will be. This is my gym kit drawer and the amount of gym kit I have in there does not correlate with the amount I go to the gyms. Some of it can definitely go. It'll be 
So this is officially everything that is going to the charity shop. There is so much in there that I feel like it's going to have a really good home. A lot of it is just stuff that I've never really wore. Um, obviously, I know that I do have a lot of clothes with, like I said earlier, what I do. Um, and, and the stuff in the box is just all books and things that I just haven't really found a home for. Um, so I just thought I'd be really good to give to charity. And then this little pile of organised chaos is everything that is going to be on my Depop very shortly. Um, I used to sell things on an app called Macari, but it's actually closed down, which is such a shame. So I might eBay these, if not Depop. Um, I I did manage to sell a couple of things on there before so if you want to follow me on depop i'll leave the link down below there's like pairs of trainers that i've just never really wore i know this is really bad this is definitely teaching me a lesson to think more about what i consume in terms of clothing and what i actually need and then over here we just have a massive pile of rubbish that um, needs to go to the skip to be recycled and a bag of hangers that i'm gonna maybe see if i can recycle i'm not quite sure on hangers i'm gonna have to google that so this is everything that i have in the wardrobe and this is the finished result i am so happy with it up is looking much more organized i've gone through each of those boxes and got rid of a couple of bags to charity which is amazing i kid you not i know this is going to freak some people out but i haven't trainers here but that's fair enough but literally once you remove the trainers there are literally just three hoodies a black one a gray one a white one these are all of the t-shirts that i own behind there's just another three sweatshirts and that's literally it and then here we have all of this is just um things that i want to hang so things like long sleeve t-shirt shirts and roll necks that is literally it. Two shirts, three um, suits, so I've got a grey, a navy and a black. I've got a jacket here which doesn't fit on the other side and literally just trousers and that is it. See down below I do have my denim and my sweatshirts. Everything's just looking a lot more organised. All of these are shoes that I'm now wearing obviously for winter. Underneath is all my loungewear that I've really organised. Sorry it just looks a bit messy. There we go, all organised. And then this side guys, I'm so proud of myself. I've completely narrowed this down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 quarts. I know that does seem like a lot, but um, it's it's more manageable. And then obviously just underneath, I've got my trainers, my helmet and towels. And that is literally everything. So that is officially my wardrobe fully cleared out and my room as well. I fully did a little detox, even little things that really do refresh your January. I might do another one of these videos where I do like organizational tips for things like technology, etc. But, but if you found that video useful and you're planning on doing your own January detox wardrobe clear out, do let me know in the comments down below how it goes. If you found any of my tips somewhat useful. <laughs> but as always guys, if you could smash that thumbs up button, it really does help me out and it means the absolute world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.